This mid to large size wide body twin engine jet airliner was built by Boeing Commercial Airplanes. It was the company's first wide body twin jet and the first two crew glass cockpit. The 767 was designed similar to the narrow body twin jet Boeing 757, which allowed pilots to obtain a common type rating to operate both aircraft. Entering service in 1982, the 767 was initially used for domestic and transcontinental flights, until it demonstrated its reliability and it soon became used for extended overseas flights. It was later expanded to non-stop service on medium to long haul intercontinental routes. With its increasing popularity in the 1990s, the 767 became the most frequently used airliner for transatlantic flights between North America and Europe. As of March 2015, Boeing has received 1,114 orders for the 767 from 74 customers and 1,072 have been delivered. A total of 795, 767s are in service with the 300ER series being the most popular. Nicknamed the Jumbo Jet or Queen of the Skies, the 747 is a wide-body commercial jetliner that has a distinctive hump upper deck along the forward part, which makes it the most recognizable airplane. The 747 is available in passenger, freight, and other versions. Introduced into service in 1970, it was manufactured by Boeing's commercial airplane unit, which was the company's first wide-body airplane produced at the time. The original version of the 747 had two and a half times greater capacity than the 707, a common large commercial aircraft of the 60s Boeing designed the hump-like upper deck, to accommodate first-class passengers or extra seating, and also to allow the aircraft to be easily converted to a cargo carrier. Boeing did this because the company expected supersonic airliners, to render the 747 and other subsonic airliners obsolete, while the demand for subsonic cargo aircraft would be robust well into the near future. Although, most of the 100, 200, and 300 series are retired from passenger service, a few are still used for freight. As of January 2015, 1502. 747s have been built since its introduction, with many more on order. Manufactured by Airbus, this short to medium range narrow body twin engine jet airliner was introduced into service in 1988. The A 320 can accommodate up to 220 passengers, and has a range between 3,100 to 12,000 kilometers, depending on the model. It was the first aircraft to use a side stick, and the first to use the fly-by-wire flight control system. Despite its competition with the Boeing 737, 717, 757, and the MD-80, it has become popular with airlines including low-cost carriers such as EasyJet. As of May 2015, a total of 6,581 A320s have been built with 6,315 in service. Another 5,123 are on firm order, 3,600 of them being the A320neo. In December 2010, Airbus announced this new generation to the A320 family. The Neo stands for New Engine Option. This type of A320 offers a choice between CFM International Leap 10 or Prod and Whitney PW1000G engines, with airframe improvements and an addition of winglets. This new A320 will also cut fuel costs by 15%. Derived from the Boeing 707 and 727, the 737 was developed by Boeing, as a shorter low-cost twin-engine airliner. It is Boeing's only narrow-body aircraft in production, with a capacity to carry 85 to 215 passengers. Introduced into service in 1968, the 737 is the best-selling commercial jetliner in the history of aviation. Because of its popularity, it has been continuously manufactured since Boeing introduced it, totaling an estimated 8,471 deliveries, with an addition of 4,244 orders, to be fulfilled as of March 2015. 
the 737 now replaces the market that were previously served by the 707, 727, 757, DC-9, MD-80, and MD-90. Since most of them are still in service, 1,250, 737 are airborne at any given time, with two departing or landing somewhere every five seconds. Known as the Super Skywagon, Skywagon, Stationaire, and Super Skylane, the Cessna 206 is a single-engine general aviation aircraft that is used in commercial air service or for personal use. Originally developed from the retractable gear Cessna 210, it was introduced in 1962 by Cessna and has been continuously in production ever since. As of 2006, there is an estimated 8,509 Cessna 206 that have been built. It is increasingly popular because of its powerful engine and large cabin, and is often described as the sports utility vehicle of the air, which makes it an ideal option as a bush plane. It is also used for other activities, such as aerial photography, skydiving, and other utility purposes. The Cessna 206 can also be modified to have amphibious floats or skis, and also fitted with luxury appointments for use as personal air transport. Developed by John Chasha, this two-axis control ultralight aircraft is available as a kit for amateur construction and can be easily assembled between 25 to 30 man-hours. Introduced in 1977, it has been in production ever since with over 13,000 of them being sold. The Wheat Hopper is a popular aircraft because it offers people an inexpensive way to fly for pleasure and it is easy and inexpensive to disassemble and store. It can be flown from just about any field because of its short takeoff and landing requirements. The Wheat Hopper is currently sold at $8,495. US dollars. Introduced in 1947, this six-seater single-engine aircraft was developed by Beechcraft and has been continuously in production longer than any other airplane in history. There are currently over 17,000 of them that have been built. The Bonanza can be configured to have either a V-tail or the conventional T-tail. It has a unique feature known as the bungee system, which interconnects the yoke and rudder pedals to assist the pilot in keeping the aircraft in a coordinated flight during turns. It is especially useful on crosswind landings. The Cessna 182 is a four-seater single-engine light aircraft. It was introduced in 1956 by Cessna and has been in production ever since. The company has produced over 23,237, 182s and in a number of variations, including a version with a retractable landing gear. It is the second most popular Cessna model following the 172 and is currently sold between 398,100 to 443,500 US dollars depending on the specifications. Built by Piper Aircraft, this family of light aircraft is designed for flight training, air taxi, and personal use. It has a single door on the co-pilot side, which is entered by stepping on the wing. Certified by the FAA in 1960, the PA-28 series has been in production ever since. Piper Aircraft has built over 32,778 of them. Current models are the Arrow and the Archer TX and LX. The Archer was initially discontinued in 2009, but with investment from new company ownership, the model was put back in production in 2010. Despite competition with the Cessna 172, Grumman American AA5 series, and the Beechcraft Musketeer, the Piper PA-28 series has remained popular and in demand. This four-seater single-engine fixed-wing aircraft was introduced in 1956 by the Cessna Aircraft Company. Because of its popularity and longevity, over 43,000 Cessna 172s have been built, making it the most successful aircraft in history. Its airframe design hasn't changed much over the course of its history. Its unretractable landing gear, swept back tail fin, and lowered rear deck allowing an aft window are still in use today. 
In 1958 the Cessna 172 was used to set a flight endurance world record, the record still stands today. On December 4 Robert Tim and John Cook took off from McCarran Airfield in Las Vegas, Nevada and remained in the air for 64 days, 22 hours, 19 minutes, and 5 seconds. They landed back on February 7, 1959. Robert and John did this as part of a fundraising effort for the Damon Runyon Cancer Fund. The aircraft is on display in the passenger terminal at the now McCarran International Airport.